after revealing to the aliens that the presentation that they viewed was only a 20th century movie, they invited us to visit their planet, asking us to investigate some phenomena on the surface that are new to them. Standard orbit achieved. All is quiet. Surface appears habitable. Why are some areas so dark, even black? Scan for problems. There are no specific problems. However, the darkest areas correspond to highest levels of vegetation. Come, ask them for permission to send down a science team. Message coming in that we are welcome and have permission to send down a team. Send down the current duty team to the surface. Greetings everyone. Oh my goodness. This is bizarre. Break out your lights. What is it, night? No, it's the heat of the day. Let's see if we can figure out what is going on. It looks like the vegetation is black in color. That's what we need to look at first. Okay, everyone look around as best you can. It's nice and dark just like Mars. I almost feel at home. This is a lava tube according to my tricorder. The network continues deep into the planet. Let's look at this white material and the white substance above. The substance is some sort of secretion from the fungus on the ceiling. They are two different things. It appears that the fungus feeds on excessive amounts of organic matter in the soil that we noticed on the surface. Let's take some samples of both back to the ship for analysis. I am reading high levels of colloidal particles in the air, and combustion gases as well. I want reports on what you found on the surface. You first Brenda. He plants have an unusually high metabolism, almost like they are animals. I believe that it is related to the relatively high levels of chlorophyll present in them. Unlike earth plants, they absorb nearly the entire visible spectrum of light for photosynthesis. That is why everything is so dark. In addition to what Brenda just said, their high level of metabolism has resulted in unusual amounts of organic matter in the soil. Much of that percolates down below to feed the strange fungi. We found the fungus on the roofs of the lava tubes we studied. Directly below are solidified secretions from the fungi. We took some samples and left them on the table. Why are the samples smoking? Is that normal? Call the bridge. Let's get out of here. Captain's log the fire in the ship's science lab did minimal damage. I am meeting with my officers to try to understand how this could have happened. It appears that there was spontaneous combustion of the substance. We took rectangular samples of the substance, 
and stacked them on a table. They started to smoke, and then caught fire. Obviously this is a high energy source. Where did this substance come from? It is extruded by a fungus that feeds on the unusually high amounts of organic material in the soil. It has been accumulating for an unknown period of time. Why does the soil have all that? It's the plants on the surface. Their chloroplasts have a very dark chlorophyll that absorbs nearly all available visible light. It may not be natural. You said that there are fires below. What is the significance of that? There is a network of old lava tubes, winding its way through the crust. The fires are burning down below, and some on or near the surface. It's the ones inside the lava tubes that are the greatest concern. They are heating subsurface aquifers and the pressure is building. The geysers we saw are a symptom. I believe that if this is allowed to continue, there will be a giant rupture of boiling hot water, literally scalding the land and people to death. It won't be anything small. What can we do about it? Is there a way to put the fires out? We can fill the tubes with carbon dioxide, which is heavier than air. Then we can seal the openings to the surface with our phasers. I can have a list of targets in a couple of hours. There is something that disturbs me. According to local legend, the darkening of the plants occurred about 300 years ago. That means something, probably planned, happened. In other words, Captain, terraforming. We don't believe that these people had the ability to do this. Their technological level was a little less than ours was at that time. Now just lie back Maisie and relax. I have a few procedures to perform. It might take a little longer because we are not used to your Martian physiology. What is this about anyway? I feel fine. It is what we call a checkup. It is a routine screening that all crew members, even the captain, have to go through. That's Starfleet policy. I hope it won't hurt. It sounds scary. It is not going to hurt. I am very gentle with my patients. Now be a brave girl. What's wrong with her over there? She is a little sick. Somewhere she contracted a minor virus. We'll have it cured in nothing flat. Excuse me Abby can I talk to Maisie for a minute? It is nothing secret or anything. Sure Brenda. I am about finished with Maisie anyway. Hey Maisie some of us were going to get together to show a holographic story. We learned to take old movies that were shown, if you can believe this, on a flat screen and turn them into holographic dramas. Any preferences? I have heard about the one called War of the Worlds. Do you have that one? I don't know specifically but I will check. We still have some work to do because we are preparing a phaser barrage to seal up the lava tubes on the planet's surface. I will let you know when we can meet. 
Okay, I will be there. Thanks, Brenda. Computer locate Martian historical drama 15. Upload it into the ship's computer database for holographic display. Label it War of the Worlds. All targets loaded Captain. All lava tubes are filled with CO2. We are ready. Commence firing phasers. Let's seal that hole up. It's working, Captain. We are sealing the holes. What about the surface fires? Can we contain those? I believe so. I have teams on the surface. I am Captain Ace Harriman of the Federation Starship Saratoga. We have sealed the openings to the lava tubes. We left some covers to the holes so that you can access them. You will need oxygen because of the carbon dioxide we pumped in there. You will need to mine the substance regularly to keep it from igniting again. What would you suggest that we do with it? We can show you how to store it. Then you can sell these bricks to your trading partners for fuel. We can easily design devices to burn them safely. Oh we just could not sell it to them. We will give it to needy planets. Well that is your concern, not ours. Another concern of ours is that there may be an alien force attempting to terraform your planet. We don't believe that any of this happened naturally. We appreciate your concern Captain, and thank you for your help. We must get back to helping our neighbors. I can't fault them for their generosity. The galaxy can learn a thing or two from them. I just wish that they would take better care of their own planet. I know what you mean. Their attitude is very odd even if their motives are the best. Sometimes you can carry generosity too far to the point that you hurt your own people. So what are we here to watch, Felicity? You said that you had something special for us. It is the original, restored version of War of the Worlds. I managed to find a copy in our archives. It should be fun. Desperate people line the roads, starving, fleeing the cities into the hills. It was the beginning of the end, the rout, and death of humanity. It is dead. It looks like it had been sick. We had all been praying for a miracle. <laughs> 